isekai anime, where an overpowered main protagonist automatically gets hit by Truck Coon and is transferred to another world with OP powers where nobody can really touch him. But we don't really know where Truck Coon came from, or at least where some of it stems from. That is Mushoko Tensei. Adapted from the earlier manga of the same name, Jobless Reincarnation, follows the story of a man who is killed after he tries to save a stranger from getting hit by a car. Quotes, Truck Coon. We quickly learn that the man, who was 34 years old at the time, was a NEAT, and that's an acronym for not an education, employment, or training, but despite being bullied and introverted, kind of like myself, but I'm not a complete NEAT, don't judge me. His whole life, he wanted to attempt something heroic. Having given up on his life on Earth, the man is reincarnated in a different magical world and is reborn as a baby named Rudius Grey Rat. Interestingly, he retains the knowledge and memories of his previous life, but now has access to magic and a host of new abilities. We follow Rudius as he grows up and learns about this new world. With his past life still on his mind though, he vows to lead a fulfilling life and to not repeat his past mistakes. He is regarded as a future genius by his new parents and studies under some powerful warriors, including his swordsman father and a mage named Roxy. He also meets Sophiette, a girl who soon becomes his closest friend. Perhaps one day our main man can find the one thing he was missing in his old world, love. Then again, his seemingly renewed and innocent persona doesn't last that long, and we discover that Rudius is still a perverted otaku at heart. Will he use his powers for good in this new world? Grasp his second chance with both hands and overcome his perversions? Or will he revert back to his old ways and use his newfound powers to facilitate his fetishes? There lies the real question. Now that that brief synopsis is out of the way, let's talk about why Mushoku Tensei is the godfather of Isekai. As is made obvious by the expanded title of Jobless Reincarnation, which is translated as Jobless Reincarnation, I will seriously try if I go to another world. God, I feel that. The theme of self-improvement is obvious. This speaks to pretty much everyone. I mean, haven't we all at one point wished we could start over and live our lives differently? After all, we are all human and we all make mistakes. With this theme comes some darker elements though, such as regret and wanting to leave the problems of your past world behind. Rudius has particular trouble in doing this when it comes to his perversions though, although these are of course addressed and make for a more interesting story, with the challenge of having to overcome his weaknesses. This second chance scenario is intriguing, especially when the main character's weaknesses carry over into the new world, and he is not just instantly reborn as a better person. He must work for it. On a Reddit thread titled, Why Do You Like Jobless Reincarnation? A Redditor agrees, stating, I like how his perversion carried over. His trauma gets addressed very quickly, unlike some other isekai, which is really nice. Other reviewers have pointed out that Jobless Reincarnation is unapologetically isekai, and that it contains many of the predictable tropes of the subgenre. However, another Redditor pointed out, I found out that it is generic because the light novel was actually the first to make these generic isekai tropes. And for this reason, it is called the godfather of isekais. Not the first isekai, but the first isekai with what we now call isekai tropes. Indeed, these tropes such as the use of magic in a medieval inspired setting may have been heavily, heavily, very heavily worn out by now. But when you consider that the manga came out in 2014, and the novel series two years before that, the tropes can be forgiven and they do not detract from the viewer's enjoyment. Also, Jobless Reincarnation takes time and care to build the world and develop its characters gradually, showing us Rudius's literal growth from a baby and how he learns to use magic slowly, rather than just being overpowered from the start like every other isekai now. Jobless Reincarnation this is the first work to have Studio Bind as its lead animation studio. Founded in 2018, Studio Bind is a joint venture between animators White Fox and the production company Egg Firm. White Fox has previously worked on titles like Steins Gate, Jormungand, and Goblin Slayer, while Egg Firm have helped to produce the likes of Prison School, no Gun Life, and a couple of Sword on Online spinoff series. As a first outing, Studio Bind have done a fantastic job in adapting Jobless Reincarnation from its source material. The visuals are stunning, and the production quality overall is outstanding. As Bago Games stated in its review, the animation from Studio Bind is already one of the best this season. The visuals are crystal clear, the effects are impressive, and the character designs are 
quite detailed. Both the opening and ending theme songs are performed by Yuiko Ohara, titled The Traveler Song and Only, respectively. They're not the best theme songs when it comes to anime, but they lend themselves nicely to the overall feeling of the anime and complement it pretty well. As of writing, seven episodes have aired with 23 due in total for the first season. So far, the TV show has been well received by both hardcore and casual anime fans alike. It currently has an average rating of 8.38 out of 10 from over 73,000 users on my anime list, and a score of 8.7 on IMDb. However, not everyone is a fan of the series, but they should be. Jobless Reincarnation, or more specifically its protagonist, Rudius Greyrat, has been criticized for being excessively preferred, which we should be used to by now. In fact, after four episodes, the anime was suspended from Chinese streaming network Billy Billy due to controversial content described as immorality. One streamer by the name of Lex Burner blasted the show as being for bottom feeders and the social hierarchy, to which the novel series author responded by saying his words are only his personal opinion. He's free to hold whatever views he likes. Although I am displeased at how he has insulted other viewers, anime is not just made for successful people, so I hope that those who can enjoy it will enjoy it. Some critics have also labeled the series as misogynistic and sexually suggestive, again, which we should be used to by now. It's not the best terms, but here we are. Obviously, if you are strongly opposed to this kind of content and feel it isn't for you, then you should steer well clear. But anime is often enhanced reflection of society that deals with difficult themes. While there are certainly shows that only exist to cater to perverts, Jobless Reincarnation is not one of them. There are actual story arcs here, and entertaining character development. The author further addressed the criticisms on Twitter, explaining that there are a lot of people who can't accept how in Mishoko Tensei, this protagonist remains a pervert even after he reincarnates. It's the same in the original work, but it's not as if he has loads of regrets about being a pervert in his previous life. That's why in the isekai, he doesn't necessarily think, I'm gonna live life seriously. That also means, stop being a perv. Tentatively speaking, in the original work, he's 100% a perv and 0% serious at the point where he is born. When he decides to live life seriously, it settles down to 20% perv and like 80% serious. But since the anime doesn't include that moment of change, the perv ratio feels bigger compared to the original work. And in terms of the main character Rudius' development, the author said, I think at his level of understanding goes up, he will do less criminal actions and other things that ignores other people's feelings. However, his fundamental nature as a perv won't change. So if you're one of those people who think that being a pervert in of itself is bad, I hope you don't sweat it too much. If you've been following Jobless Reincarnation and are looking to get Truck Coons fixed between episodes, similar isekai anime you may enjoy include The Misfit of Demon King Academy, Ascendance of a Bookworm, and The Ancient Magus Bride. They may not be as enjoyable as Jobless Reincarnation, but they contain similar themes almost like every other isekai, and will keep you from climbing up the walls while you eagerly await the next Jobless episode. Similarly, if you've seen any other isekai anime I've mentioned in this video, but haven't seen Jobless Reincarnation, give it a try. It's currently available to stream on Funimation, and I promise you won't be disappointed. Jobless Reincarnation is one of the most engaging and likable animes I've seen in a long time, and I'm very much looking forward to see how the rest of the TV adaptation turns out. But I want to know, do you guys agree with my assessment? Or is there another isekai anime that you feel is more deserving of the crown? Which, you may be wrong at least in my opinion, but let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video. Regardless of whether you agree with me or not, if you enjoyed this video or learned something new, then please show your support by leaving a like and sharing it with other anime fans. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and turn on notifications so that you can stay up to date with my latest anime reviews and information. As always, I've been broken obsessed in my otaku ways, and I will see all of you lovely people next time.